everybody, welcome to offroadunderground.com and kieferinktesting.com. No, I am not Simon Cudby. I am Chris Kiefer. We are here today to talk about the 2024 KTM 300 XC. Simon and I got together and decided, you know what, we need some more off-road content out there. And me being with kieferinktesting.com as well as racerxonline.com, we just feel like, hey, you guys need some more off-road content. So we decided to team up, get together, so you will see more videos some more off-road bikes, and just some more tests over on Simon's site, as well as my YouTube channel. So stay tuned for more videos. But first things first, this is our inaugural test with the governor, Simon Cudby, 2024 KTM 300. And we teamed up with three brothers over in Costa Mesa, California. They built us a clean, yet not too expensive, modified two-stroke to go out, have some fun in the hills, and uh, this has evolved over the years. Before, we started with the TPI. Now we're in the evolution of TBI. There's more top end. There's still that nice grunt, smooth power that we all want in off-road riding. So for me, it is a very fun bike to ride. So we're about to go head out in the hills over here. We're gonna break down this whole machine and give you a comparison of what it's like compared to the stock machine. <laughs> Right, guys wrapping it up uh, we actually Simon and I went on for a two-day ride so our first initial ride obviously you see some of these shots is over in the San Bernardino County Mountains and uh, we had a good time up there uh, near the forest line as well as right now we're at the back of Glen Helen Raceway and they actually have a pretty cool off-road loop in the back that they have races on and it's single track there's some open cart roads and some ridges so we wanted to ride it in two different types of terrain and two different areas and really get a feel of what this 2024 KTM 300 is all about. So for me, I have had some time on a standard XCW recently. Uh, Jamie over there at uh, Twisted Development, I went and tried to help some mapping for the ECU, but this is the first time I've ever had Dean from R&D uh, do any kind of mapping for me and I'm pleasantly surprised. So. In stock form, the 2024 KTM is really, really good off low end. It has a four stroke sole. So if you guys want to lug it, you have tight terrain, uh, you want to get maximum traction to the rear wheel, this is where this bike shines the most. You East Coast guys with slippery conditions, even us West Coast guys that uh, do get the occasional really tight, snotty trails, but out here on the West Coast side of things, it's dry, uh, slippery, rocky. Um, this bike has a lot of traction for a two stroke. Me being mostly a moto guy, I grew up racing off-road. I never experienced a two-stroke with as much traction as this machine. So what I wanted from this was a little bit more pulling power from mid to top. What I got from Dean over at R&D and possibly the FMF uh, gnarly pipe and silencer, can't decide which one is doing the job, but I can tell you this, between those two modifications that we've done, not only do I have a lots of low end traction now and lots of feeling from the throttle to the rear wheel, but now this thing will pull up mid to top and just won't flatten out. Um, this bike is a lot better than the TPI version, but still I would want it to rev out a little bit more when I'm opening up the trail and getting on it. I don't want to short shift it so much. 
So now I can let this thing eat in second gear a little bit longer. I was just coming back on a ridge um, to do this video for you guys and I was noticing how long second and third gear pull uh, because of the Dean Dickinson um, ECU remap and the four um, the FMF gnarly pipe. So with those two combinations, if you guys are looking for a little bit more mid to top, those two things combined are really, really nice. Um, I've known Dean for a long time, really great guy. Uh, if you're an older guy like myself, uh, he is the master when it came to RM80s back in the day. There was nothing better than a Dean Dickinson uh, tuned RM80. And he's evolved over the time and he's got a great ECU remap for you guys that want to ride some off-road. Um, really impressed with that. Um, actually, I'm going to call him after this video and have a conversation and, and uh, really tell him how uh, good this whole map was because I've had a lot of time on trying to create a map that leave some of that connection to the rear wheel, yet give us some mid-range uh, pulling power and top end. And it's really difficult to find, and he seems to found some of that, so that's really nice. Um, moving on to the suspension side of things. Look, I come from a stiffer-natured chassis and suspension setup, being that I ride motocross all the time. But since I live in the desert, it's my backyard, I know how important to have a good, supple, um, plush feel from your suspension when you're riding crappy, whooped out, rocky trails. And Three Brothers did it the right way. Obviously, WP and KTM came out with a spring fork, the exact spring fork for the XC, XCW model. So that is a plus right away for me. We're not on the AER setup anymore, thank God. And now you can go out and ride two to three hours and your fork feel is not gonna change. So what Three Brothers did, they they gave me a little bit of a stiffer setup than off-road, but I don't want to have such a stiff setup where I'm going to be deflecting off rocks. Uh, Simon and I went for a ride today, and I came down a rocky, uh, just like dried out creek bed, and there's rocks everywhere. With this setup, unlike the stock one, which I've had some time on as well, that seems to deflect a little bit and dive and get too low. This stays up in the stroke, a little bit more flatter coming down the hill, so not so low. and what I call hunt and peck. This front end doesn't give me a lot of movement or hunt and peck or deflection. Stays planted, so I appreciate that. The shock is a little bit soft on high speed compression for me, but man, is it consistent over the course of a long ride. So I can load my suspension and equally the front and rear end with a little bit of a, a stiffer high speed compression setup will move together unlike you don't want to go down a creek bed and be so low and then be high in the rear. And then when you're accelerating, have it squat in the back. And then when you're going over some rollers, have it just load and then just bottom out and release. And that's how you swap out. We don't want that. So very even uh, feel for me, lots of plushness, more forgiveness for me. You know, I'm not riding off road a ton, but when we do, I want some of that plushness and not a lot of bite in my hands. I don't get a lot of that. With the standard XC, I do get a little bit of vibration. Uh, even with this suspension setting, that is less apparent. So for me, that is important. Seat Concept does a complete seat. Unlike other seat companies where they just do seat covers or foams, you can actually, actually get complete seats. So maybe you're not looking for that, but from what I've experienced coming from the moto side with seat concepts, there's different levels of foam and different densities and the shapes of seats. Seat Concepts does all of that. So if you want to bump in your seat, you want a rib cover, you don't want a rib cover, you want softer foam, uh, Seat Concepts does all that. So for me, uh, obviously when you go off-road riding, you need protection. AXP, AXP does a, a skid plate rear discard as well as a chain guide. Um, I'm not uh, too familiar with wraparound hand guards. Look, I'm a moto guy most of the time, I would say 70% of the time. So. Fastway did a good job of having uh, this Bark Buster style aluminum insert within the flag handguard uh, style. Uh, it kept me from breaking a lever. If you guys are smacking really gnarly trees, which we aren't out here in Southern California, this will save you. And of course, having a fat, wide foot peg doesn't hurt. So Fastway does a really good job of getting you planted onto your foot pegs and getting your feet in the right position. Uh, something that I try to do when I ride is find the balls of my feet. I know we see a lot of these uh, trainers out there trying to tell us old guys where to put our feet, but it does actually help when you do it the right way. And Fastway does uh, give you a little bit of more freedom to kind of move your feet around. So I do like that. 
uh, SKDA graphics, wrap this thing up. Uh, of course, the big Three Brothers graphics. And a little bit about this build, there's not a lot of eccentric parts on this, but what we've done to this uh, makes the bike very comfortable to ride. And for me, that's the most important thing. Uh, I'm function over fashion. So for me, I want my bike to be comfortable. I can ride a long time and a bike that makes me want to ride it faster and to learn more uh, about myself and to push myself on uh, the trail or out in the, in the desert when I'm riding. So this bike is why three brothers said, hey, Kiefer, you're going to get it. We want it to have a everyday common man uh, type of build. Uh, we're just adding bits and pieces that we think are important. And for me, they did a great job. So kudos to them for doing that. And uh, look, we're going to do more of these things. And I, I for one, really like to ride off-road. Uh, I grew up racing it and uh, I wasn't even going to ride motocross and my dad put me in off-road racing and it's near and dear to my heart. So uh, Simon and I, we're going to do more of this stuff over on Off-Road Underground. You're going to see more of that as well on my site, keeperinktesting.com. So stay tuned for more. We're going to keep building some bikes, maybe get a little bit more elaborate and uh, maybe do some eccentric builds. But nonetheless, make sure you stay tuned to uh, offroadunderground.com and keeperinktesting.com for more builds. And of course, if you know um, what you're looking for, or maybe you don't, Chris at keeperinktesting.com. I'm here to help you and uh, to get you out on the trail, have some fun with your family and friends and talk trash to their buddies. So we'll see you on the next build.